Um, hello everyone, my name is Harry Jun, and today I'm the last speaker of today's TEDx event and I'm going to conclude this TEDx event in one last single speech. So I'll start my speech with two questions. Have you ever wondered why people dance or do you really enjoy dancing? Well, let me tell you my story. My story can be separated into four parts. Interested, irritated, realized, and impassioned. I was interested in dancing when I was in grade two, and I told my mom that I want to learn dance because it looks cool. I don't know why, but I just want to learn dance. And often people love doing something, but their purpose is often blurry. And I took my first dance class. I really like it, but looking back, I don't really like to learn original routines. At age 10, I learned how to solo. I can become more creative and express my own understanding of the music. Over time, my skills improved and I participated in my first dancing competition ever. I did not pass the audition round, but it's okay because it's my first time, right? And I make friends, I learn new movements, and I become a better person through dance. However, um, the biggest setback happened when I was facing a strong dancer in a competition and failed to pass the audition round. I'm very sad. Depression and frustration flooded me, and I told myself that I hate dancing. I gave up for four months. People like me suffer from mistakes and depressions and frustrations, and we give up our time, life, and hobby. So this has lead to the next section called Realized. What I have realized is that I realized that in that competition, I tried a new style that was not typical. And the judge was not really interested in that style. But is that really my fault? Well, it's not. Because I'm dancing in my own way and dancing for myself. And this is not the only reason why I keep on dancing. Another reason is because the spirit and the lessons I learned from dancing. Now, I'm dancing again. But this time, I'm dancing for myself, not for others, or competitions. Finally, I'm impassioned. I'm impassioned because I have understand the lessons I learned from dancing. Well, you must be wondering about what are the lessons I've learned from dancing. There are three lessons, which are creating style, sharing expertise, and never compromise. So firstly, create style. I create style based on my thoughts, emotions, and personalities. Mental, stage, mental states such as self-efficiency, cognition, motivation, and mood may affect our imaginations. Initially, I started to learn dance routines, but after, I le uh, but after I have learned about solo, I can become more creative and create my own movements. I really love dancing. It's not just because it can exercise, exercise my body, but instead, uh, uh, allowing me to fantasize and think creatively. Additionally, I realized that actually I should create my own unique style of dancing because it does not matter how it may or may not affect or impress others. And it is crucial that you have to create your own unique style. And it's important because you are unique and I'm unique and we should show who we are. So for example, like Tony Gogol, the founder of Locking was to innovate the dance Locking. And he was so famous because of his spirit of creation. So if, if we refer back to the society, um, pe frustration, depression, may let a lot of people be afraid of imagining. And imagination is required for innovations. So. It's very important that you have to create new things and create a style you live. Sharing expertises. So people started dancing in the streets in the 1960s and forming a modern party dance system inspired by popular songs and African dances. At parties, people enjoy dancing and they share their lives, share their thoughts and dance together and creating the primitive hip hop we see nowadays. And unlike competitions, uh, parties, People really enjoy dancing in parties and they share their life. It's kind of relaxing in parties. So to let the audiences to further explore and experience what a party would be like in 1960s, here I would like to play a song 
and then you can stand up and then stretch your body. And because it's a long time and you can stand up and then stretch your body, I'm going to play a 45 second music and you can dance together and communicate with each other and sh share your thoughts and shake your pressure and just dance together. Oh, by the way, just make sure that you don't hit, hit each other and hurt each other, okay? I'm going to play the music now. Everyone dance? You can dance anything you like. Well, that's a very small 45 second party without cake and decorations. So, do you really enjoy dancing now? Yes. Great. So, um, you can see that um, parties are pretty similar to competitions because you enjoy dancing and you can see other performances and you can learn from other performances like their movements, music interpretations, expertises. So, um, at, par at competitions, if every single dancer is super strong, competitions may gradually change from competing with each other to sharing expertises. And you will gradually find out that the purpose of competitions are not just only testing your abilities, but instead it provides an opportunity for you to learn. So, lastly, is never compromise. Uh, personally speaking, this is the key lesson I learned from dancing. Same example, if I'm facing a strong dancer and strong enemy, well, of course I'm going to be afraid. But dance have taught me to never compromise. And it is important that you are confident to dance in front of the stage. So, looking back, it was very important that I am confident and I never compromise and I, I have the courage to stand on the stage and competing with you any dancers and we don't have to care about their levels. So never compromise, it's always a choice to achieve what you desire. If I decide to dance, then I'm going to keep on dancing. If you adjust the first time and compromise the second time, failure is what you got the third time. Although dancing is not always about failure, but during our lifetime, we have to face failure, avoid failure. And if we don't want to fail at the same spot, then never compromise and work hard for the future of life. Lastly, to conclude the speech with one example of school. During the school life, um, school is like a society. You face challenges, you socialize with others, you create style, and you um, make friends, but you work hard, right? And life is like dance, but more than dance. Life is like dance. You have to create your own style and you have to make friends and socialize with others. But life is more than dance because you have to f face different challenges and face different, uh, face different tasks. But, and you have to ease the pressure. So as the society was advancing, a lot of people worked super hard and their pressure was getting a lot and a lot and a lot. So, what you need to do is actually try your best and never compromise and work toward your future. In dance as in life, we face challenges and overcome them. In life as in dance, we um, challenge ourselves to become who we are. So audiences, do not be afraid of setbacks. And you, what you need to do is to learn from the spirits of dancing. So I guess you know what you're going to do next, right? You're not just only going to uh, never compromise, create style, or sharing expertise, but instead you will have to stretch your neck, stretch your body, and let us 
and our life away. Thank you.